How you doing? Uh, I'm going to show you my uh, Wild McLean EGH-95 commercial steam boiler. Uh, this is located in a six-family apartment building in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, we installed this about six years ago, and, and so far it's been pretty much maintenance-free. Um, just this season, I recently replaced the uh, low-water cutoff probe um, because they, they suggested that at least to take it and clean it or replace it. Uh, very important because that's the last line of defense um, to prevent the boiler from running dry and possibly cracking the boiler when it's running. Uh, it also has uh, an automatic water feed with a bypass valve. And as you can see, uh, it's mounted on a steel platform. The reason why we did this, we had issues with flooding this basement for a while and the pilot light kept going out. Um, but um, we don't have any issues like that anymore, but it's nice to have the boiler raised up like this anyway, just in case there is a problem. And uh, alongside with it is the hot water heater. This one we should raise one day. Um, we've had issues with this and when the pilot did go out. Uh, but so far this boiler has been uh, maintenance free, never gave us a problem. And um, also I want to point out, I have some spare thermocouples here, just in case. Um, this one is actually for the hot water heater. This one, it's more like a thermal pile. Um, that's what's in there now. And it also has different threads than the uh, conventional thermal pile for the hot water heater. So I have both on hand just in case um, there's a problem with, with the pilot. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.